Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today we are going to examine how the personal information window can help you to record and manage personal work within a project. To access the personal information window, simply select View followed by Personal Information. You can see that we have access to a number of different tabs including Model Mail, Allocated Work, Project Tasks, Workflow, Working Sets and Sent Items. In this video, we will review each of these tabs. The Model Mail tab displays all of the emails you have received from members of your project team. You can send messages to individual or group mailboxes. To illustrate, I'll compose a message to all project BAs. You can see that group mailboxes are represented by the red and green icons, whereas individuals are represented by the blue icons. Each message can be flagged with a different colour so it can be easily identified. I also have the ability to insert a quick link. As you can see, there are several quick links represented here by these hyperlinks. All of my sent items appear here in the personal information window. This allows me to monitor my outgoing correspondence. You can see that the message appears at the top of the list. Fred Doe is currently logged in as a BA. One of the advantages of Model Mail is that it allows me to open a diagram, a relationship matrix, a search and a team review post with a single mouse click. Model Mail offers improved security, better model integration, improved traceability and can help prevent spam because only registered project members are capable of sending Model Mail. The Allocated Work tab allows you to view and edit the elements to which you have been allocated as a resource and the tasks you have been set to complete. The right hand panel displays a Gantt chart where the green bar indicates your progress in performing each role or task. To make changes simply double click the Gantt chart. You or your supervisors can add records through the Resource Allocation tab of the Project Management window. For example, I can select a requirement such as validate user, bring up the project management window and assign a resource. I can set the start and end date and enter other details as appropriate. Upon saving, this resource appears in the project management window. Now if I switch to the personal information window, you can see that validate user is available here. The project tasks tab displays all of the project tasks that are either assigned to you or you own. This allows you to sort through your project tasks based on priority, status, start or end date. To sort your project tasks, simply click on each of these column headings to sort in ascending or descending order. In order to create a new task, simply use the context menu and select add new. Once you have entered the details, click OK and you'll see that the new task appears in your list. Workflow scripts are executed by the Enterprise Architect Workflow Engine. Workflow scripts use model security settings to validate or restrict access to properties and configure workflow searches. The workflow searches are model based and therefore become automatically available to everyone within the team. The searches themselves appear in the personal information window and you can see two on screen now. We can use workflow searches to deliver items to the attention of the user based on specified element attributes and they can also return relevant results that are role specific. This can prevent you from having to wade through hundreds of search results related to other members of the team. You write scripts in the scripting window in VB script under the workflow group type. If we look at the code, it produces two different searches that are displayed in the Workflow tab. The first search returns all suggested changes. The second search returns different results 
based on your group membership. When running through a workflow process, there can be times where fields need to be disabled depending on factors like what state the process is in or the authorization of the user attempting to update it. You can see on screen that a member of the BA group cannot edit the version number. However, if you are not a member of the BA group, you can edit the version number. We'll look at this example shortly. In order to run a workflow search, all you need to do is simply double click it. You can see that a suggested change has appeared on screen. If I open it, as a member of the BA group, I am unable to edit the version number. If I run my role specific search, you can see that it only produces one result, which is a validated change. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to update my security settings. I am now a member of the team leaders group. Now if I run my role specific search, it returns two results. I'm now going to upgrade my group membership again and make me an admin. Now if I run the role specific search, it returns three different results. Implemented, for review and validated. If I run all suggested changes, because I am no longer a BA, I can make a change to the version number. If I run the search again, you can see that the version number has been clearly updated. Working sets allow you to resume working within Enterprise Architect without ever losing context. You can save all of your diagrams or views that you have open in a particular work session. You can even draw together any diagrams, views, matrix profiles or search results into a custom working set which is not visible to any other user. To demonstrate, I'm going to open a working set. You can see that I can quickly and easily navigate between different diagrams and views within Enterprise Architect. I also have a number of different options, including the ability to create a copy as new. This allows me to create a new copy so that I can make changes in a non-destructive manner. I also have the ability to delete a working set, I can apply when the model opens, and I can store the main tab view history. For more information on any of these features, or to download a free trial of Enterprise Architect, visit www.sparksystems.com.